All right, everyone, thanks so much for your patience. Once again, I am Cody Johnson, uh, Senior Sales Director here at Pinnacle Financial Services. Uh, for those of you who have worked with Pinnacle, a good chance me and you have spoken before. For those of you who have not worked with Pinnacle, maybe today's webinar will give you a slight reason to want to know more. Pinnacle, as you guys may know, we are an FMO, some carriers an IMO, an NMA. The jargon may change, but what all of those mean, what's consistent is we are at the top of hierarchy with all the carriers that we represent, which means that your contracts are not tied up with multiple entities. It is in most cases, and also we can offer higher commission schedules on some of the products because there is no middleman with us. So we believe in really supporting the agents and agencies that we work with, everything from co-op dollars to back office support, which is second to none. For If you have an agency, we help with recruiting. I'll be on a recruiting event for one of my agencies next week in Tennessee. So if you have an agency or aspire to build one, that's a huge value add for us, you know, so we can talk about a lot of those things. So this webinar, I don't want to get too off topic. This is about our quoting engine slash online enrollment platforms. Some of you have been using them. If not, maybe you forgot they exist or how to get to them. We're going to do a refresher course and introduce them to folks who have not historically used them. So for our basic quoting software, you see we can quote multiple product lines, everything from annuities, final expense, even long-term care. But I am on the Medicare side of things, and that's what we're going to go ahead and focus on. But I just want to touch on the fact that you can quote multiple product lines. So we use CSG, which is very popular in our world. A lot of agents actually pay for it, but then when they come to us, they realize they'll get it for free. So once you click on click for a Medicare quote, as you can see, um, everything from meds up to final expense, hospital indemnity, dental vision, um, Medicare Advantage, et cetera, will come up. So we're going to start with Medicare Supplement. Uh, because the online enrollment platform that I'm going to show you a little later is best with Medicare Advantage. It's, it's fully functional where you can, you know, enter drugs and everything else. But for a basic Medicare supplement or hospital indemnity or final expense quote, CSG is going to show you all the carriers, the rates, and let you manipulate it. So I'll just go ahead and do the office. Uh, zip code, and we'll pretend this is a, six, a person turning 65, and this is a female, Plan G, and she does not smoke tobacco. So all of the carriers that Pinnacle represents will come up, even if you have them in your portfolio or not. If they are one of the carriers that Pinnacle offers, they'll come up lowest to highest in premium, as you can see. You could go ahead and apply household discounts. As you can see, there's a button for that. Also, market analytics. So if you click that button, the market analytics, if it is a company that provides data, then it'll show you how long they've been in the market, in the Medicare supplement space, rate increase history, increase history, et cetera, et cetera. Now go ahead and click it. You'll see how they trend. As far as premium is concerned, all that good stuff. You can apply the household discounts. You see how the prices change. Then if you just want to shoot your clients a quick quote of who's top in the area, you just click on the red bar, turn it green. And then this little gray button that says compare quotes. Bingo, side by side comparison with the price, household discount, et cetera, et cetera. Then you could go ahead and print that or download it into a PDF, shoot it to your client, walk out the door with it, head to your, your appointment. Let's do hospital indemnity. Hospital indemnity, I wish, wish, wish agents will offer this more it's just such a hidden gem it's such an easy cross uh, um it's a perfect perfect partner to a traditional medicare advantage plan now if a person is dual eligible they won't need 
uh, hospital indemnity plan. They, they won't be worried about their hospital copay. But for somebody who's on a traditional $0 premium Medicare Advantage plan, what's the biggest gap in a Medicare Advantage plan? That hospital copay, right? You know, especially if you're sick, you're down and out, that, uh, you know, 250 350 a day for five or six days, it can hurt you. So the hospital indemnity plan is something that's such an easy sell. When you're going over the summary of benefits and you get to the hospital copay, Ms. Smith, don't worry. There's something that I have to remedy that we'll get to that after we finish going over your health coverage. Very simple. You see there's many different carriers, continental life. GTL is going to be the Cadillac of hospital indemnity plans. All types of riders that you can add on. This, they, they pay directly to the beneficiary instead of a claim. So a, a current beneficiary may need to use that money for something else. Nine times out of ten, they experience some type of hardship from having to be in the hospital, right? So if they need to, that for groceries or to pay their utilities or rent, they can use it for that. Most of them only pay the claim itself. Let's go ahead and get in here. I'll briefly show you one. GTL we'll use for the sake of this exercise. So you got the Advantage Plus Elite, which it was rebranded, I think, a couple years ago. So benefit amount. This is going to be your basic hospital benefit. $100 a day. We'll just pretend that their Medicare Advantage plan is $250 a day, and we want to give them some extra fluff. So we'll do $270 a day. And this is the seven day benefit. Then it has the riders. You said if you want to do a lump sum cancer rider, if they have been affected or someone they love has been affected by cancer, let's do 5,000. As you can see, you could do first diagnosis or lifetime. Lifetime is it'll pay again if the cancer went into remission. And then five years later, it comes and rears its ugly head again. Um, they would have that covered. So let's add that. Ambulance benefit. A lot of times, if they're going to the hospital, they're using what? An ambulance. Let's do $250 in occurrence for that. Dental and vision rider, not so much for me. You could critical accident if that's something that you know interested in or think they need. I'm just going to keep it there. Okay. So we've done $270 a day for seven days, which is more than what they're, and they'll get that cash money. That's more than what their hospital copay would have been. They've got the lump sum cancer, $5,000, even in a recurrent state, $250 ambulance benefit, and they're only paying $42.89 a month. Just think about that. Most of these seniors nowadays are coming off a lot, coming off group coverage, right? So they're used to paying copays. Most of them are paying a premium. How about once they realize that you, Agent Smith, has hooked them up with a zero-dollar premium plan with all types of extra benefits? You think they wouldn't pay this forty-two eighty-nine after they're used to probably paying a couple hundred dollars or more a month in premium? Forty-two eighty-nine for the rest. To, for the peace of mind to know that if they should go in the hospital, they're going to get that payout. If, if cancer affects them, they're going to get that payout. If an ambulance is involved, they're going to get that pay. $42 a month in this economy, you could spend that at the candy store and come out with four bags of candy. So the hospital indemnity can be quoted on here. I just wanted to love my agent so much. I just It pays right away. You don't have to wait for an enrollment period. Um, the typical pay is like 65%, I think. Is the uh, and they advance 12 months, 65% of the premium, and they advance 12 months. So, if anybody of you want to get contracted to sell hospital indemnities, call me. I'll give you my contact information after this. So, that's our basic quoting software, the CSG actuarial. So, that's what we use. Now, what a lot of you guys are using now, or I'm going to briefly show you what it's all about, is Connection or Sunfire. Connection and Sunfire, there are the two giants in the online enrollment platform arena that have been jousting for position over the last four or five years. One of them had a feature, three months later, the other one has it. Vice versa, um, they're in steady competition, data giants in the, in the room, 
We are one of the very few FMOs who offer both of them to our agents at no cost. Both of them at no cost. So it says if, if you come to us and you, you're used to using Sunfire as your last FMO, you have that option. You, most of, about 90% of FMOs only have one or the other, so a lot of times you have to learn one. Let's go ahead and get into Connecture, which for us is branded Connect for Insurance. So Connecture, that's the company that FMOs use for this platform, but it's, it can, it's branded for us named Connect for Insurance. Just so you guys know that's not something different. We're gonna go ahead and get in there. This is a training site. So I'm not gonna do an actual application or anything. This is a training site, it's kind of limited, but this is the dashboard, nothing there. So once you start writing applications through this platform, you will see your last enrollments, quotes that you have pending. You can run reports of in the last 30 days who you wrote, all those that information will come up. If there's agent training materials, which is a feature they added a year or so ago. This will actually walk you through everything you need to know to be able to use this system seamlessly. How to do the new voice signature. Yes, it does have a voice signature. So last year we were excited about the text feature for people that didn't have a computer. Now, man, what if they're not good with cell phones? Or just for the convenience, built-in voice signature, which is huge. And there's a tutorial on how to do that, the scope of appointment, and everything else. So even if you don't like my voice, and I don't, let me top off this webinar, just know that you can find everything you need inside the agent training materials portion. And as long as you are ready to sell with at least one Medicare Advantage carrier under the Pinnacle umbrella, you already have a login to this. You already have a login. You might not know what it is, but give us a call. Our support team will give you your login so you can have access. So that was the agent training materials. So for most people, you know, so if you have a, a prospect, then they may or may not be ready to get set up in the plan, but you need to gather their information to see what plan is best for them in the event that you were the one who was going to write them, right? So you would do what we just did and enter a new profile. We're just going to in, enter some ridiculous information for the sake of this. And this is not my real address, so if you want to send me flowers or um, you know, a golden cup or something like that, call me, I'll give you the real address, but no, nah, I don't look good. I know I'm a slow typer, bear with me. Okay. Hospital part A, effective date is gonna ask for that. Well, percentage March of this year. Same thing for that part B. So all the questions they'll ask you on the paper app, I'm going to ask you here. As, as another feature, you could check their Medicaid eligibility here. They added that last year. So you can, you know, a lot of people would use Jarvis or I think Anthem has one, but this is a one-stop shop. You can check their eligibility and what level of eligibility they are for uh, Medicaid. I knew I was forgetting something. All right, let's move on. Continue to scope of appointment. All right, as you can see, you have options. You have the email option where you can email it over to the beneficiary. They'll check off what you guys are going to talk about and submit it back. It'll come right back literally to here. Once they submit it, it'll say that you have an SOA waiting for to do the agent portion. So, or you could text it to them. They can open it up just like they would a link on Amazon or anything else. Or can now do the, the phone scope as well. Let's continue to plan.
as you can see, is that it defaults to certain things. There are we're we're going to pick Medicare Advantage prescription drug plans, which is the MAPD plans. But as, as you can see, there's tabs for PDPs, Medicare supplement, dental, hospital indemnity, and the standalone Medicare Advantage plan without drug coverage. Okay, so you can funnel it however you want over here. Plan premium, low to high, or you could do total estimated cost. But the total estimated cost is not going to be reflected because we haven't factored in anything. So if you want to factor in, which you will want to, you'll go to add preferences. This is where we're going to add exactly what's going, what they need doctors prescription wise. Which type of plan? We're doing Medicare Advantage, so we would choose Medicare and prescription drug plan, right? It's going to ask you, do you do does the beneficiary receive any type of help or get any type of supplement from the government or uh, Medicaid? A lot of times you don't know. A lot of times they don't know. So we don't know. How old they are, this is just a, to help the system guesstimate uh, how many times they may go to the doctor. It's, it's, I don't put too much into that at all. All right, and it's going to go to the doctor. And this is just me, just with a very random search. I use my last name. All right, you got Maggie, you got John. Where's the internal? Okay, there's Justin, he's internal medicine. We'll add provider. Wow, he has a lot of locations, so they will all come up. Um, because of the provider ID is specific to the location. So we've added Justin Johnson, and we'll continue. Prescriptions. All mighty powerful prescriptions. We know this is a big determinant factor as to whether or not a plan fits a beneficiary. So we'll add allopurinol, and let's do a diabetic medication. Let's do human law. A quick pen. We'll add that and let's move forward. A pharmacy, they can add up to two pharmacies. Where is a popular one? Let's do a CVS. Just for name recognition. And it's going to take us back to the plan. But this time, it will have factored in the drugs and the doctors. You see some of them have the doctor covered, some don't. Those are common drugs, so most of them are gonna have those covered. You see Humana does not accept Justin Johnson, where United Healthcare did. Health partners didn't have any data on it, so they don't know whether the system doesn't know whether they do or not. So some more um, due diligence will have to be done. But as you can see, it'll have to estimate a drug cost for in each carrier. So you could get a, a, a basic feel for which plan is going to cost them the least as far as drugs, because that's one of the major determining factors, right? And let's do it by total estimated cost instead of premium. Most of the plans won't have a premium, so customers want to know what they'll be paying out of pocket during this in the said year, right? Health partners for whatever reason I don't know what's going on with them, but their data is not showing. You see United Healthcare, $350 out of pocket. Um, they'll go up from there. It's mostly the same because those are drugs meet the same tier in most most formula. So this is that at a glance. So if you you could do one of two things, you could send a quote, you could compare these just like we did with the CSG. We won't do health partners. So we'll click this little button, add to compare. 
beneficiaries stuck between that United Healthcare plan and this Humana plan. And we compare now. Bingo. Side by side comparison. With all the information, the maximum out of pockets, what they'll pay for each service. The drug tiers. You can pull the provider list. Prescription is covered. Optional add on side by side for everything. So you could send this as a quote, and the client will send any, see everything we just saw. You, once again, common theme you could email or what, text it. And they can look over it and then go over the plan both of the plans and, and see what they think. And when you're ready to write them, it's this simple. Add to cart. We know what add to cart means, whether it's Amazon or Fashion Nova or Walmart. This means it's time to buy, right? It'll give you the option to also shop hospital with them these plans. So you can actually, from Connecture, Go ahead and based on what you had just showed the client with the out of pocket hospital costs, shop an indemnity plan of, of your choice, all while you're doing the same application. So that's pretty cool, right? I won't do that for the sake of time. So it's asking you how you want to complete this application. Send to beneficiary to sign and submit, which is if you're not in front of them and you are sending them the signature, the e-signature, that's the one you would pick. If you're in front of them and you're just going to go through the whole application and let them do it in front of you, then you'll pick complete and submit for myself. Then you would do continue to apply. It's telling you that you're being redirected inside the carrier's enrollment system. So once you do this, this is a real live application, folks. Personal information, as you can see, it saved all the information that I entered, blah, blah, blah. The next page is going to ask you for everything that, that you, if, if you were using Lean or, um, you know, Vantage or uh, any of the carriers' online enrollment platforms. The carriers are going to be doing away with some of their particular electronic apps that's unique to them. So using one of these systems, if you don't know how to use them, and haven't been, you might want to get a head start because this it may be your only option moving forward at some point in the not too distant future. Okay, I won't keep going. That's that at a glance. Anyone who wants some more extensive training on this and Sunfire, the, the sister platform, uh, you could call me or either one of the sales directors here. If you go on our website, you'll see all of our information. Uh, for those of you that want to get in contact with me, my name is Cody Johnson. Once again, 7723. All right, extension 7723 will get me every time. If you are interested in picking up more contracts, if you are interested in adding hospital indemnity, or you want to bring some other contracts over to us, please give me a call directly. I'll take good care of you. If you're interested in learning about what we can do for you marketing-wise, if you have an agency and you want to know how we can help you uh, recruit, and manage your agency. Uh, we could be as in your agent's face as you want us to, or they don't have to know we exist. Um, we can brand all of our marketing stuff to your agency, and you will literally be pinnacle, but you'll be your entity, if that makes sense. So without further ado, I will check and see if there's any questions in the question box. Record apps on the phone. Sydney, I thank you for keeping me honest. So yes, both Connecture and Sunfire do have a call recording feature. So this, like I said, this is a test site, so I could show you how to get to it, but for me to show you how to use it, Sydney, you might have to call and do a one-on-one -on -one with me. So inside your profile, once you're set up, you go inside your profile. This one says Pinnacle because it's our training site. Account overview. In your site, 
there's going to be a space here for you to say, choose my phone number. So it's going to let you choose a phone number that's specifically for Connecture, uh, where they will be able to call in and and it'll have a button once you do that that says start recording. But the first step would be you at choosing a phone number that's specifically for this, and this is the one you would use to record the enrollment process when you are using uh, Connection. Here is my shopping link. I didn't show you this either. So this, if you copy and send someone your shopping link, once they open it, it'll show them all the plans that you are ready to sell with. It won't show any plans that you can't offer them, only the plans that they that you offer and are ready to sell certified with. If you send somebody that link, you could put you could tie it to your website as well. If they click on that link and enroll in the plan, it goes directly to the carrier with your writing number. These your link is tied to your writing numbers. So that's another thing I didn't show you. Okay, my, we may have one more. How you complete the SOA? We went over that briefly. So one and it's part of the the profile. Once you, you enter the person's information in their profile, the next step is going to say continue to SOA. And you it, it gave you the option to so once you fill out this screen, their basic information and hit next. There's a button that says continue to SOA. Then it'll ask you to, if you want to email or text it to them. So depending on which one you choose, it's going to send you enter in their email address or phone number, and it's going to it's going to send them a link where they open up and you they'll they'll check off Medicare Advantage, hospital indemnity. I, I always tell my uh, agents to have them check off everything because just in case something comes up in the conversation, you're covered. And then they, they'll submit it. It'll come right back to your, your page. Hold on one second. Let's, I'll get back to it. Let me enter in my little phony information again. I'm just trying to get back to the I think I entered everything we have to then you see it says continue to scope of appointment right this is a scope of appointment you're either emailing or texting it to them once you do that once you pick that and send it to them on this same screen you see it says right now you have no SOAs for profile once they submit it it'll say you have an SOA for agent review or something to that extent and you'll click on it and go ahead and finish it out filling out the agent section on this application, I, I went as far as I needed to go without, you know, going into an actual application. So the page of the application where we were entering in the, the person's information, the very next page is just the next page of the application with the Medicare number. Why are they able to qualify for Medicare? What's the enrollment period? Just like you would see on the regular Medicare Advantage. So it's, it's no different. Literally, it's just on this platform. And then once you submit it, so when I clicked the, the go to cart, um, cart and I went inside the application, I didn't want to keep on going to the next page. You know, God forbid, I, I've, I've been doing this a long time. I wouldn't. God forbid I get sleepy and make a mistake and then finish the enrollment. Then that's a whole another problem. Okay, everyone, you have been a wonderful audience. I look forward to hearing from some of you. Even if you just want to call me and say hi, ask me how my day is going, and will pick my spirits up. It's the extension 7723. Cody Johnson, Senior Sales Director. If you need absolutely anything, give me a call. We will get you taken care of. Thanks so much, and I look forward to talking to you soon.